and welcome back everybody it's time to lock down another booster cracking video and it is not Sunday it is Monday once again and we're doing our little mini version of Rebirth of Legend unboxing so I hope you guys are excited I just got done filming a pretty baller box again of Assault into the Demonic World if you haven't checked out the most recent video for Sunday's booster cracking right up here somewhere go check it out it was another fantastic box so you're not going to want to miss it but on to the fun stuff. Rebirth of Legend, I had a blast opening this up from last week and I'm excited to get into another one. So, here it is, our beautiful little mini booster pack box with our 10 booster packs of five cards, all of which are phenomenal and awesome and wonderful foiling and you name it, they got it. So, uh, let's slice into this thing and see what we can get here. So while we're unwrapping this here, I did hear some rumors that the little promo card that you get with these boxes can sometimes be a J ruler. They're not always gonna be a J ruler, but some people are theorizing online that it's potential that you could pull a decent J ruler. So we're gonna see if that actually is the case. Since we got a case of them, we're gonna see if that's something doable. So let's open this up. Reveal, we've got, oh snap, let's go. It's a nice little J ruler, it's Makage. It's the beautiful Makage. Mak Am I saying Makage again? Makage. Makage. There he is. All right. Interdimensional Messenger. This is from the Epic of the Dragon Lord. So it seems like they're giving you some really cool Epic of the Dragon Lord J rulers and things. Ah, yes. Makage Sejuro Interdimensional. Interdimensional Messenger. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Pretty freaking sweet. There he is. I do not have this one, but hey, not bad, not bad. I'll take it, that's cool. Stand our box up and we'll get into the first pack. Let's do this. Who else do I want in this set? I can't remember. Well, well I'll know it when I see it, for sure. I mean, we're, we're gonna find everything, right? We're gonna find everything. We already got Farica, the Lady of a in Atracia, I should say. And then, yeah, the Demonic Castle, Treasure Trove, Coolness, and then Valentina, owner of the Theater as our super rare. Let's see what's behind her though. Oh yeah, we got Grimm and Pandora since I guess they got married, uh, obviously from the card. But Grimm and Pandora, I do not have this one. Awesome looking card, very nice, very nice. So while we're grabbing this next pack, something I didn't fully put in the last video here, uh, I wanted to just showcase the prices and things of the nice big foil cards in the set. And let me just tell you, those aren't the only things with value. Pretty much all these cards have some value. Like, I think the lowest card is like a buck fifty, but a lot of them are like three dollars. And then they just go up from there. And I just didn't have the time to price out every individual card. But all these cards, even just like the regular Valentina, not even the foil version, uh, Farica, they they've got some value. They've all got some value. So even though it was like bonkers how much uh, I made in that box last week, uh, it was actually more so, technically, technically. I just didn't have the time or the energy <laughs> to edit in every single card in the packs that we opened. So just know that going in, some cards are better than others just in the normal. I don't think uh, Abdul's like worth a ton. Uh, Pearl Shine isn't worth a ton, but like Melfi, Melfi's like four, four bucks just on its own, I believe. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, and then Dracula, yeah, I mean like this one, we got a full art of this one, it was like $20, but even the regular version is like 12. So this is like a $12 card here, which is insane. Insane to me. Behind it though, we got Flu, the Cheyenne's Attended. I don't have this one and it is sick. Really sick, really cool. The first duper rare I ever pulled was Flute. And uh, yeah, that was an epic box. First one I ever pulled, so got a special place in my heart. Let's go Lunia, Master Guide, and then we got Sylvia Lelias as our full art. Beautiful looking, probably $15 card or something, but bang, looking cool, looking ready to go in battle. Really awesome, dope. Next one, let's go, come on now. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. We're opening up the rest of this case over the next few weeks, more assault, and more awesome randomness coming out soon. You got some rare sets up here that you just don't see opened anymore, so stay tuned for those, and we're always on the hunt for uber rares and other cool stuff. So just a little tease and promo for you guys. Subscribe, we're almost up to 700 subscribers, so I appreciate the support. But we've got Lumia, Princess of Rebirth, which I'll probably put a price up on screen for this one, because this is one of the more expensive, just normal cards. And if you get a foil of this one, it's like $25 or something, but this is a really good one to get. Some awesome artwork, 
The cover girl herself is on here. Really cool. Behind it, we've got Abdul Alzared, the possessed. Uh, did I get him last time? I don't think I did. I don't think I got him in a full art, but he's not worth a ton, I believe. We'll have to see. We'll make sure. Next pack. Let's go. Let's go. These boxes, these little mini boxes are still going up in price a little bit. They're like $75 each and everybody sold out. It's awesome. Oh, Shakti. Shakti Mercenary Queen. The super rare. Her by herself. She's a good card. Just non-foil. Uh, but I definitely want to add her in my collection as a foil. She is a dope looking character. Behind it though, we got Marabella. Yes, Sincere Engineer. And this is another one of these pricey ones. So I think it's like 20 bucks, something like that. It's pretty nice. Pretty good one to get. I'll take it. Marabella is the one from the last video that just the normal version. I had to put up a price on screen because it was like $15 in the non-foil. I was like, okay, I'll put a price up for that one because that's pretty crazy. So uh, we didn't get a foil of it last time, but we did this time. So that'll be a big jump in our total box price for sure. Kane, I think the lowest cards in the set are like Kane and Abel. They just like don't have any value, I guess. I, I don't know, people don't really care for it. Grim and Pandora, and then Yadrazel, top tourist destination. Yeah, one of the lesser ones for sure, but a uh, cool card though. Next pack, let's go. We got Farika up here, and she's trying to reveal that last card because the pack was weird. But we got Abdul, and then we got Rezard, a Tracia's Lean Doctor. Again, like $7 just for him by himself, something like that. Behind it though, Ragnarok's Fiery Stone. Dope, dope card. Look at that spinning foil texture, loveliness. Holy cow, it is so cool. I can't remember if this one actually has any value or not. I know it's got a couple bucks, but it's not like crazy, crazy. But just the artwork by itself and that foiling of that spin, really, really stunning. They did such a good job with this set. I hope they do more of these textured foilings and just the normal set booster boxes and stuff because really cool, really cool. All right, let's go into the next one. We got Flute, we got Kane, we got Yadrazel, and we've got Prissia. Ah, yeah, Seeker of Friends and Prissia's Big Show. Ah, oh, really cool. Can't, again, I can't remember price on this one. I don't have it all memorized, but uh, it's a good one to get for sure. And it is really cool. What do we got? Two left? Two left? One's trying to hide in there a little bit? Okay. All right, last two. Let's do this. Um, so far, so good. There's not a lot of repeats that we've gotten so far, although I'm not opposed to any repeats. There are only 25 cards in the set, so it's bound to happen eventually. Do we need Melfi? Did we get her yet? I think we need her in a full art still. Prissia. All right, Seeker Friends. Very nice. Behind it, we got Kane. I don't really care for you, Kane. You're not really the banger I want to see, but it's okay. Next up, let's go, if it'll let me into the booster pack. Holy crap. Kirik's Training Grounds, Kane, there we go, and oh yeah, Freya, Dark Huntress, love, love this card, so cool. And we got Pearl Shine, a nice little repeat from last time, which we did already get, but hey, it's the cool looking panda and the foiling again, just phenomenal. It's like sparkly glitters on this one. It's really cool. Really quick, our pulls of the day. Let's go over them. We got Ragnarok Stone. Again, I'm not sure the value. Shakti, I think, has some good value even than the non-foil. We got a lot of non-foils in this one, uh, which probably have more value, so I'll probably have to price up some of these non-foils because some of these Marvel rares are just crazy insane. We got the foil of Prissia, though, and the regular version. Regular version Dracula, still like a 12 bucker, I think. Lumia, regular version, but really really dope. Excited to get that one in a full art eventually, but we did get Marabella in a full art this time, and it is really good, and it's a really strong card, and it is worth some value. So, Rezard, again, like a $7 card, I believe. Not the full art. We still have yet to get him. We did get Sylvia Lilius this time, which is a stunning full art. Very cool. Got some value. And then we got Grim and Pandora. Not sure on the value of this one, but it is a cool looking card. It's the classic artist. I like it. And then we got Flute, Shion's Attendant. Very cool as well. Really dope. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are excited for more little sprinkle videos of these Rebirth of Legends, stay tuned, subscribe, because we are going to be opening up more of these in the upcoming weeks alongside other content coming out. So stay tuned for that. I already teased some of this fun stuff over here, so I won't go over it again. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Come along. Come along with me here on these crazy unboxings that we got going. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and we will see you guys in the next video.